Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Road Ghost Tycoon 2. In this episode I will show you how to make your park entrance invisible in two different ways. Um, well, Here we have uh, Forest Frontiers and I will now just uh, enable sandbox mode so I can uh, delete some of these trees just so you can uh, see better what I'm doing. Okay, um, like I said there's two ways of uh, doing this. The first method is uh, the easiest method, uh, it simply uh, involves deleting the original entrance and replacing it with a clear entrance. It's a custom scenery item that uh, you can get on uh, any designs.com or, or you will probably get it by viewing some of the parks from there as it's an uh, often used uh, item. So, yeah, it's called A1 Clear Entrance. In the bottom right corner, you can see the file name. And if you search that on nedesigns.com, then you will probably find it. So, in order to place it, we actually need to remove the uh, original entrance, or else uh, we are not allowed to swap out the objects. So, to do that, we go into sandbox mode. I just uh, enabled it. Uh, sandbox mode. Uh, allows you to remove the original entrance. Now, then uh, we just go into object selection and we replace the traditional park entrance with A1 clear entrance. There's another unnamed item which does the same. We'll just use A1 clear entrance now. Then we go back into show map and here we are now able to build a new park entrance. The uh, yellow arrow that you see here should always point into the park, into the owned area. And the path uh, that is placed always takes the footpath that you last uh, built. You can actually replace it by uh, clicking on it. So there's now an invisible entrance here and it should work as normal. Well, the guest that you just saw uh, didn't enter because the park was actually closed. But the next guest that spawns uh, should actually be able to enter the park. Let's uh, quickly spawn some guests. Here they are. And they now enter the park uh, normally. Okay, now, um, if you don't have custom scenery available, or if you don't want to be bothered to, uh, to search for the object, there's another way to make your park entrance invisible, one that will work in any park. Let me uh, reload this one. So, um, this trick is uh, quite simple. Um, again, let me <laughs> remove these uh, trees. Uh, this uh, trick uh, requires Tile Inspector, it will work in any park. Um, just select this piece of the park entrance, you can see entrance here in the Tile Inspector. Just place a corrupt element using this button and that part is gone. We also do the same for this part and we'll do the same for the middle part. Now you can see there's a part uh, missing here. And to fill that in, we just go in Town Inspector, we select this footpath, copy it, paste it, and we're done. Now let's open the park, spawn some guests. And they will enter the park uh, like they would normally do. Anyway, that, uh, that's how you make your park entrance invisible. I use this in uh, pretty much all of my parks because I like to make, uh, yeah, I like to make really an entrance area, and there the original park entrances don't really fit in. Anyway, I hope this uh, tutorial is useful for you, and I hope to see you again in the next video. See you later.